Hi there! Today's video topic is Power BI Field Parameters Part 3. I really would, if you haven't seen Part 1 of this series yet, it's best to watch that one first because that video describes how to set up bookmarks for your field parameters so that the small multiples visual sorts the big groups to the top left so that the more important things are up first. And this demo is going to use those same bookmarks to basically change the filter selection options for the dimensions. So if you haven't seen that one yet, um, go check it out and that will help you follow along. So backstory, uh, what typically happens when you start using multiple measures in your field parameters and then also let your users select the dimension from a field parameter is that not all of your measures actually should have all of those dimensions apply. So in this case, I've got sales amount and distinct products per order. Sales amount, you can really apply any of these dimensions to and it's fine, but distinct products per order really shouldn't have a product name and a product subcategory applied to it because it's a measure that applies at the transaction level, not at the line level. And um, your distinct count of products by product ID is going to always be one and that's really not useful at all. Subcategory is a filter that if you apply it, it won't it'll be misleading to your viewers. So what we wanna do is hide these two options when a viewer clicks on this particular measure here. And the way we're gonna do that is using bookmarks. So I'm going to turn on my bookmarks pane by the going to the view menu and then selecting bookmarks. And the way this bookmark is set up right now is we have it only updating the data and only for selected visuals. There's a, hidden slicer that you can't see that is basically selecting the measure parameter when a viewer selects a bookmark. So that's how we've got it set up right now. What we want to do is we want to change this bookmark to update all visuals instead of selected visuals, um, mostly because when I am doing selected visuals and get more than about two, it gets kind of hard to keep track of what I've got selected when I update it and it ends up breaking my bookmarks a good chunk of the time. So we are going to change the filter values on this particular slicer here. So I'm going to select it and then go to the filter pane and I am going to deselect product name and subcategory so that those don't show up. And the important thing that you want to do now is choose a different option in your dimensions if you had one of those ones that you had selected because you see it, you can still see it here even though I removed it and that's because it's it's selected and it, it can't hide it when it's selected so I'm going to select by sales territory instead. You see how it disappeared there. So now we want to update our bookmark so I am going to go to the distinct products and Click the little ellipses menu and update. And now let's see what happens when I switch back to sales amount. So sales amount has all of those dimensions available still, so I don't need to do anything there. And when I switch back to distinct products per order, you only see these options. And something to keep in mind when you switch your bookmark from selected visuals to all visuals is that um, when you have all visuals set, it is going to reset whatever you have, um, or rather it's gonna save whatever you have set in your filter pane in addition to what's in the visuals on the page. So if you're using the filter pane pretty actively, just keep an eye on that. Um, you could just use selected visuals and make sure you have all of the ones selected. The problem is, is that there's that hidden, um, hidden visual in the bookmark, and so you have to, um, you know, turn on the selection pane and go find your hidden visual and make sure it's selected when you update your bookmarks. And it looks like for whatever reason, the bookmark lost my sort on the small multiples. So I'm just going to add that back in. So we're going to go to the ellipses menu and sort small multiples by distinct products per order. And that'll put the big groupings up top. I'm just going to update this bookmark one more time. 
Make sure it's still working. Looks like yes. All right, and we are done. I'm going to be doing at least one more video on field parameters in table visuals. So if that sounds interesting, keep an eye out for that. And I hope you have a great day.